today we are making a video on BROS which is a Brazilian Linux distro so it is a 23.04 version so this is a boot menu of a BROS or the Brazilian Linux distro let's uh, boot it in a live boot so it's always a good option to live boot first and uh, go with the installation uh, first live boot like a two to three hours use it uh, in a live boot uh, you didn't find any bugs or you didn't encounter any bugs or errors uh, go with the installation uh, with the Linux distro if you are only satisfied then go with the installation so again if uh, it takes like a maximum of a one minute or a 30 to 40 seconds to load up the complete desktop layout so this is a, a version of a 23.04 of a BROS it's based on Debian and Ubuntu and uh, has a desktop environment of a KDE Plasma. I don't know anything much about this Linux distro because I never made a video on it in the previous uh, days. So I should be exploring with you. So let's check out how uh, good is this Linux distro. And I forgot to mention that uh, I'm running it as a virtualization which is uh, VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with uh, two processors. So again it takes uh, like a maximum of the 1 minute or a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. It completely depends on the Linux distro sometimes. So I forgot to mention another thing that I will be posting 2 videos daily. So I already posted a video of another content. If you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video completely. So here is the welcome screen or the options you get uh, to boot the BROS which is a Brazilian OS Linux. It didn't say anything like a Brazilian OS. Uh, it comes from Brazilian OS. So I mentioned uh, like a Brazilian OS. It just says as a BROS. So I don't know how to call it. So in order to live boot, you need to try BROS. In order to install, you can just click on install. So if you ask me, it's always a good option to live boot first, then go with the installation later after it's fully satisfied without bugs or errors. So let me go with the live boot first. It's going to take like a 15 seconds more uh, to completely load up the desktop layout. So we need, we need to wait for a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded. As you can see here is a mouse pointer and you should be seeing a mouse pointer with a highlighter because I set it up in my screen recording software. So it says uh, welcome to plasma because it's a KDE plasma desktop environment. I guess it should be having the latest version of a KDE Plasma that should be pretty good. So it is taking a few more seconds and we should be having our KDE Plasma or the BROS. I don't know who uh, named that like uh, BROS. You need to complete the Linux distro by naming the full name. Uh, if you recommend to someone what you're going to say like a BROS at least uh, give it like a brazilian os or the brazilian linux distro like that it should be good uh, just by naming bros i don't know it's uh, incomplete for me i don't know it's uh, uh, how you feel for that so here is the installer uh, we still has an installer we need to have some desktop layout completely loaded so here is the complete uh, desktop layout let me change the resolution because i'm running it on a vmware so I need to change the display settings by right clicking on the mouse and looks like uh, it is taking a lot of time to load up everything. So let's uh, check the system resources after setting the display. Mine is 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio. If you can't see the text or the font size properly, you can change the global scale uh, to 120% or 150%. Uh, with the 1920 into 180, 150% uh, should be pre a pretty good option or the uh, setting about this system. It's a BROS and this is the website if you want to click on the website. You can just type it in the uh, search bar or the web browser. So it has the latest version of AKD Plasma that's pretty good and Frameworks has the old version which is 5.104. Still the latest version. The latest version is like a 5.105 .05. and Qt version is a 5.15. Kernel is a 6.2.0. The latest version of Kernel is a 6.3 which is released like a week ago. So graphics platform x11. So this is my CPU hardware information. If you want to go through all this thing, pause the video and check it out. So let me close this thing and open the application menu and open the system monitor. 
because we need to see how much of resources are consuming uh, before opening any apps so we should be having an idea of uh, how much resources are consuming i'm going to open the system monitor again at the end of the video so you should be having an idea of uh, or you should be uh, uh, own you should be judging on your own to use this linux distro or not so right now it's almost like a 1.5 gb of uh, ram of uh, 4 gb and cpu is almost under like a 25% maximum or the roughly 25% under 25% as you can see so these are some of the information which i already mentioned so let's go to the applications here are the applications running right now history cpu is almost uh, stable ram is also stable uh, in the beginning of the video it's almost consuming like a 1.5 gb uh, i don't recommend or i don't uh, say that it's a, a lightweight linux distro because it's almost a 1.5 gb right now after opening some of the apps it's going to be like a 2.2 gb like that so if you're having like a 2 gb of ram i'm not going to recommend you because it's go it's going to be very laggy on my 4 gb of ram it's a pretty uh, bit of lag and delays here and there somewhere like this now occasionally it is bit of lag as you can see uh, if you're having a, like a 2 gb of ram it will be a very hard to use this linux distro so the system monitor version is 27.4 let me close this thing so let's open the terminal which is a console for the kde plasma desktop environment it looks pretty uh, awesome uh, while uh, looking the linux distro but it's a bit of heavy so it's clearly up to you to judge it uh, to use this linux distro or not so let's type in the command which is uh, inxi-sv8 this is the command which will grab the complete distro information uh, in one place so let's maximize this thing and go through all the information let's go to the system a host is a bros kernel is here which i already mentioned it's a 64-bit architecture nowadays there is no 32-bit a lot of linux distros are going with the 64-bit just a few linux distro has 32-bit so be careful while downloading that too so the KDE Plasma version already mentioned, Qt version is 5.15.8 and uh, Distro is uh, Ubuntu 23.04 Lunar Lobster which is the latest uh, version or the which is based on the latest uh, Ubuntu version. So try to ignore the background noise because people are wantedly doing the noises uh, to ruin my video. I already know that. So machine it says uh, VMware usually whatever i do at time i make the video they uh, try keep to uh, keep on making the noises wantedly or purposely so try to ignore that bios phoenix version is a 6.0 i'll try to uh, decrease the sound uh, as in the audacity i will try it uh, i don't know how much i can make it like uh, reduce the noise so the ram is almost uh, 1.38 gb of a 4 gb and this is my cpu uh, information is here cpu if you want to check that out you can pause the video and check it out so let's scroll it down and find some of the other information so graphics it says uh, display is x11 server is xorg vmw uh, gfx version is a 2.20 and xorg version is here xvland version is 22.1.8 and let's scroll it down and here are the all the monitor resolution and the display resolutions available for this distro open gl version is a 4.1 mesa is 23.0.2 so the pipe wire version is a 0.3.65 and elsa version is here so let's scroll it down and it says 80 gb for my hard disk because i choose the 80 gb of hard disk for my uh, what you call it a uh, vmware so let me scroll it down and uh, find other information like a process are uh, writing uh, running right now are 246 uptime is a uh, 6 minutes wake ups are 21 min 21 init system d version is a 252 shell bash version is a 5.2.15 console version is a 3.3.25 uh, inxi version so system d version is 252 i think i covered everything i guess so let's type in the same uh, information but uh, we will get the same information in a short form by typing this command which is inxi so let's type in inxi small b 
these are all the same information as the above but in a short form you already know that if you see carefully so let's type in another command which is inxi dash capital G so again same information let's type in cat forum slash etc forum slash issue and hit enter I typed it wrong so let me type it again so here is the command it says BR OS 23.04 because it's based on a Ubuntu uh, 23.04 Lunar Lobster so the version is also same 23.04 as the BR OS so let's uh, check out the new fetch if it's available or pre-installed it is not installed so let's try to install the new fetch can't copy it so let's uh, type it sudo app install neofetch it's going to take a few seconds you need to confirm by typing y it's going to take a maximum of a one minute to install the neofetch and we should be having our neofetch completely installed just a few more seconds and uh, after the neofetch uh, and uh, let's uh, try to install the htop also so it's taking a few more seconds I guess and we should be having our neofetch completely installed it's almost like a 98% just a few percent left so it is taking a lot of time that's the reason I mentioned you need to uh, wait for at least a minute here is the neofetch complete information so let's type in the htop Hestop is also not pre-installed so let's uh, try to install the Hestop also which is sudo apt install Hestop it's cool it should take like a maximum of uh, 10 seconds that's it Hestop didn't uh, don't take a lot of time to install so just a few more seconds and Hestop is installed let's type in the Hestop here is the information the RAM is almost a 1 GB tasks are 81 CPU is around uh, below 10 percent so this is the complete information of the distro so let's close it so let me open the firefox web browser and uh, take you to their official website and i'm going to show you the download process also and uh, by launching the firefox web browser it should take like a maximum of 20 seconds and the firefox is the default web browser for almost every linux distro almost 70 to 80 percent so the version of firefox is 112 I think the latest version is like a, a 113 I guess let's type in the search term which is a BROS Linux so let's go to the source forge so this is the uh, files so let's go to their website which is uh, here let's open the in the other tab or you can directly download it from here like going to files in the source force i think they don't have the official website so maybe this is this should be their uh, source or the official website so the file size is around like a 4.7 gb which is pretty big size uh, if you have a limited internet connection you should be having a problem of downloading a 5 gb if you have an unlimited internet connection there is no problem for that so the latest version is a 23.04 so let's click on it if you have anything problem with the source forge you can just click on the problem downloading and choose your server uh, the best server is like a united states one uh, which is pretty fast so it's clearly up to you to choose whatever server you want so it's going to take like a five second and uh, it should trigger a download so let's wait and see here is the downloading size or the downloading of iso file it's almost like a 4.3 gb but it says like a 4.7 gb you already know 1024 mb is all, almost like a 1 gb so let's close it so that's the downloading process and the official website so let's go with the installation process now by double clicking on the installer it should launch the installer and uh, i'm going to show you the process of installation i'm not going to install it because i don't want to just for the sake of the video i'm just going to show you the installation process again it's a kde plasma desktop environment installer so everything will be same nothing complicated here 
no need to worry or uh, scared of uh, anything so first you need to choose your language because there is a lot of uh, languages available uh, choose your own language here click on continue after choosing the language and you should be seeing a keyboard layout choose your keyboard layout i'm choosing the english united states on the both side layout and the variant so click on next here is the some of the uh, updates and other software after downloading the 4.3 GB or 5 GB of file size, no one goes with the minimal installation because the minimal installation will be having like a web browser and some uh, uh, basic utilities like a mouse, uh, notepad, uh, not notepad, like a text editor and some like a calculator, all these uh, basic things. So go with the normal installation. If you ask me, I'm going to choose the normal installation. And on the other options, it's going to uh, give you two options like uh, download updates while installing BROS. This saves time after installation. So it will update or give you the latest updates uh, while installing. So uncheck uh, this button if you want. If you don't want, you can uncheck it and later uh, update it on your own. The other option is like a install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi hardware. So it will be helpful. So if you check this button right now, it will be helpful. If you don't want, you can do that later on your own. It's clearly customizable to you. So click on next after choosing the option. It's going to say uh, preparing Ubuntu drivers. It's going to take a maximum of 40 seconds. We need to wait for 40 seconds and we should be having our disk setup. So instead of waiting for that, let's check out the uh, desktop features. And here you can see it's like a macOS desktop uh, layout, not a completely macOS uh, uh, desktop layout. It's just a dock, nothing more than that. So the date and calendar, notifications and some of the status, status bar and notifications, internet connection, device and disk, volume, volume and applications volume. That was the sound from the Linux distro updates i guess and i don't know what it is it says uh, get plasma integration it changed the icon uh, so that's the reason i didn't get it so here is the uh, let's go back to the installation uh, thing and uh, check out this information so the installation type if you choose the guided use entire disk it's going to delete the current operating system and it's going to install the bros as the default uh, or the single boot uh, installer or the OS so be careful while choosing this option so you need to be having an idea of what you're doing here don't just blindly go with the everything you need to be have an idea of what you're doing here so here is the encryption if you want to encrypt your system you can uh, encrypt by providing the password in the both the boxes which should be same and if you choose the manual partitioning you need to be uh, choosing the partitions if you created already a partitions uh, you should be going to that partitions so this is the option which will give you the dual boot operating system this is the single boot option and you need to choose your hard disk if you have a multiple hard disk or ssd or whatever the installation destination you have so choose that one after clicking on install now it's going to ask you for the time zone user information is like a username password you need to provide that too and you need to click on install it's going to take uh, like a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or a minimum of uh, 5 to 8 minutes it completely depends on the linux distro or, and the system resources if you have a good end pc it should be very quick if you have a low end pc it should be taking a lot of time so that's the installation process so again always uh, boot it in a live boot first uh, use it like a two to three hours and go with the installation after you're satisfied without a bugs and errors so that's the installation process so let me close this thing again i want to give you the uh, information that always uh, when you're using a live boot don't save anything in the live boot because as soon as you reboot or restart the uh, live boot it's going to erase everything so be careful with that so that's the installation process so let's go to the other options which are like a, we already saw the desktop features we just left with the desktop wallpapers let's go to the desktop wallpapers they have some good wallpapers here is the best one they have the best wallpapers as you can see here there is nothing from the kde plasma desktop uh, environment so let's check out the this is the best one i love the nature wallpapers like this sceneries all these things it looks pretty awesome as a mountain houses 
greenery everywhere so this is pretty awesome let's go to the settings back there's like a lot of good wallpapers as you can see like this one there are plenty of wallpapers not plenty just uh, like a uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 17 wallpapers almost everything every wallpaper is good so that's the wallpapers and folder view version is 3.0 so i think we covered everything so let's uh, check out the pre-installed apps which comes with the uh, bros let's go through all these things in the development we have two apps on the graphics we have almost uh, important apps on the internet we have also good apps BROS loaded with the complete best uh, software applications which comes uh, pre-installed they are all, all the uh, important apps so no need to install uh, any other apps so this is the best thing in the BROS but on the resources side we need to check it again at the end of the video so we should be seeing how much of resources it should be consuming after opening the some of the apps i'm not going to open every apps because it's going to take a lot of time uh, in just uh, opening the apps to check out all the versions there will be all the latest version because uh, it's a latest uh, uh, based ubuntu so you can guess it uh, almost like uh, every app should be the latest version like a krita k text editor and like a telegram app all the apps will be having the latest version so on the updates we have some of the apps uh, like almost like a 75 mb of uh, updates so not a big updates there so i think we completed everything i guess let me open just a few apps uh, because we need to see how much of resources it will take after opening like four to five apps so let's open GIMP. Uh, after opening GIMP, let's check out other apps like uh, there is the only office. On the graphics, we have like a uh, Inkscape. Let me open Krita too. And let's check the uh, task manager or the system manager. System monitor, not the manager. Sorry for that. And let's check out the resources consumer right now. It is taking a few seconds to load up because I already opened like a three heavy apps, like Inkscape and GIMP is a heavy one. It's almost like a 2.4 GB. So as you can see, let me CPU is also almost completely 100%. So let's let's close this thing and uh, let's check out the information of the apps. It's a 7.3.3.50 let's close this thing and inkscape version is a 1.2 let's uh, save it let's click on thanks let's load the document and check the version and gimp version should be like a 2.10.34 let's close this also and inkscape version about inkscape it's a 1.2 which i already mentioned so let's close this thing also and krita it's a 5.1.5 we saw almost uh, important apps so let's check the system monitor and uh, end the video because that's the only thing left right now we covered everything almost the important things there is no need to open everything because uh, that's not important the installed version will be highlighted with the green uh, mark so I'm going to scroll it very fast. For example, I'm going to show you the installed version. So like this, the installed package will be like this. So let me quickly run through all these things. I'm doing this because it's going to take a lot of time. So if you want to uh, slow it down, you can change the playback speed in the YouTube settings and you should be seeing the uh, packages installed. So the version is 5.8.0 Moan package manager. Let's open the system monitor and end the video. Beginning uh, it was like a, I guess 1.5 GB but it's like a 2.0 GB after uh, opening some of the apps. 
so cpu is almost around like a 25 percent so it's clearly up to you to use it or not so on the application side it is it comes with almost uh, good app uh, applications so on the resources side you should be having like a good end pc or a mid end pc uh, if you have like a low end pc with a 2 gb of ram that should be a problem for you because it's going to be a bit of lag if a uh, lag here and there so it's clearly up to you to judge uh, to use this linux distro or not so on the good side it has like a latest applications and the uh, it is based on the latest version which is uh, ubuntu 23.04 luna lobster so again it's clearly up to you so that's the end of the video so i already posted another content of another video because i'll be posting two videos daily so if you want to check that out you can check that out after watching this video so that's the end of the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out